Can the new BookAbub chirp ads for audiobooks work for my books? Stay tuned to find out. Hi, I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and independent publisher. I love sharing my insights about all things self-publishing with you. Before I get started on today's topic, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. That way you can be here every week as I release new videos on all things self-publishing and how to make a career out of being an author. Since I've self-published my audiobooks through Findaway Voices, I can actually use the BookBub partner ads for audiobooks because mine show up on the Chirp network. Pretty cool. The same three books that I tested the ebook ads for, which were The Infinite Infinite, Self-Publishing for the First-Time Author, and Book Marketing for the First-Time Author, I also tested the audiobook ads for as well because all three of those were out through Findaway Voices. Right away, I started to get clicks on the nonfiction books, but no sales. Womp womp. Turn those off. Once The Infinite Infinite was done, I got that ad set up and didn't see clicks coming through, but I gave it a day or so. Again, I'm only paying per click. Within three days, I had sold multiple copies of the audiobook via Find A Way to different libraries. Cool, but none of those sales were through Chirp. But still cool because I had literally not promoted that the audiobook was done anywhere because it wasn't up on ACX yet. I was waiting for Audible for that to be approved to promote to the world, oh, the audiobook's available. Um, So I would not really pushed it anywhere, but I was still getting these sales. So I think maybe the Chirp ad did help there, even though the sales weren't made on Chirp. I don't know. So as you can see in this screen cap that I'm showing you here, I'm setting up this ad just like I did for the ebook. I'm actually keeping the copy the same in this case because I wanted to test to see um, which group would resonate with that text first, and then I'm gonna optimize it. But I'm going through just the same way. So I'm selecting my categories, I'm selecting the authors that I feel it's similar to, I'm putting in the text, I'm setting my bids, and I'm off and running. Again, since I can't get up to the minute updates, I can't tell 100% if those clicks on the Chirp ad resulted in sales or just awareness for the book, but I sold several audiobook copies when I wasn't promoting it anywhere else, so that seems like a good win for me. I did start to see the price of the ads go up without an increase in sales, so I'm not afraid to pull them when that happens. So this is definitely another trial and error. Again, positive experience, but not, oh my gosh, let me start to spend crazy money on these ads right now. Um, I do want to make sure I'm being really thoughtful and intentional about how I'm promoting these items. And I think once the audiobook is approved on ACX, which hopefully by the time this video goes live is the case, because good Lord, I just want these things approved and done. Um, I will be able to just blast them everywhere and get a lot of good organic marketing. I know I've talked a lot to you guys before about like do your organic marketing first before you pay, but I really wanted to test this out. So I gave it a try, really small budget for it so that way I could test this. All right, so have you been able to try these Chirp ads for your audiobooks? What were your thoughts? Again, I always love to hear from you guys of what your experience has been, what your questions are, so I can answer this for you. Leave a comment below so we can keep the conversation going. If you liked this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button. That lets YouTube know that you're getting value from these videos and then they can help get these videos in front of other authors like us. Now you can get back to writing your book.